Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to another episode of Spinning Venom, aka The Venom Vlog. This is episode 99. We are just a few days past our four month anniversary and actually we're coming up on the one year anniversary of when this movie was announced. So I will probably make a special video on that day. That will be um, March 16th, which will be next week. Um, I will probably post a video that day about uh, them announcing the movie uh, Venom coming out a year ago uh, on the 16th. So we'll talk about that then. Um, today, what I want to talk about is is the lack of news again, uh, but in a very specific way. Um, today, uh, WonderCon put up on their schedule, like they put up their full schedule for Friday, Saturday, Sunday. All their panels, all their you know guest speakers, everything that's going to be there, all the production companies, Warner Brothers is going to do a presentation there. So they had all these things posted today, and Sony was nowhere on the list. There was a couple little things that were Sony related, but nothing major, no big announcement, not taking over the main hall, no Venom stuff, nothing. And I just wanted to bring this attention, you know, this to your attention so I can get your feedback on it. Like, what do you guys think? What do you think Sony's next move should be? Because obviously there was some negative feedback uh, from the first teaser. And I know it's a teaser and I overall like the teaser, uh, but there were people out there that didn't like it. They thought it was just, you know, Tom Hardy the movie. And uh, that was the biggest like comment that I saw floating around was that there was a Venom trailer with no Venom. Obviously, it was a teaser. Obviously, it was uh, released maybe a little too soon to show Venom, for sure. Obviously, it was. Uh, we only got that one shot of the symbiote. But a lot of people were hoping to see Venom so they could formulate a solid opinion of whether they wanted to go see this movie or not. And when they didn't see Venom at all, they were like, okay, so what kind of movie is this? What's going on? Why why hide the main feature of the movie? If you're going to make a Wolfman trailer, why, not, why would you not show the Wolfman? Um, you know, someone brought up Jaws to me. The, I watched the first trailer of Jaws recently. It had Jaws in it. The fly had the fly in it. So um, I get it. I know. I know. I, I can see the argument is basically what I'm saying. Um, so, so Sony has to be very careful from here on out. They're, they're going to want to do things smart. And obviously Tom, he's very busy. He's jumped over to Peaky Blinders, I think did a couple episodes. And then now he's already got his next movie role lined up. Who knows when he's going to start shooting that? He's probably already having meetings about it. Uh, he's probably, you know, having to probably gain weight for it because I think he's playing Al Capone, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, and he's got to, like, you know, fatten up a little bit um, if he's going to do the role accurately or if he wants to. I know he's that kind of method actor, so it'll be interesting to see. So I don't know what's going to happen um, with how he has to promote this movie if he's not going to start shooting until, like, after this movie comes out so he can stay fit. All the way up until this movie could because sony's going to have a contract with them like hey you got to look a certain way if you're going to promote this movie we can't have you know if you are going to gain weight i'm not saying he is i'm just saying like if he is going to gain weight he can't you know be like a fat guy out there going like hey go see venom and everyone's like who's this um but i mean i don't know if he's going to go to that role like that level of uh, of playing the character or not but still uh, he, it is something to think about because he is a very method actor and he likes to get into the role big time of the people he's playing, especially when he plays, portrays pe you know, real life people. Uh, so yeah, it, that sounds like an interesting movie. Josh Trank's directing it. You know, I liked Chronicle and never saw Fantastic Four. Heard a lot of people hated it. Uh, but you know, for all I know, I believe in second chances. For all I know, this is the movie Josh Trank was born to make. So Tom Hardy is gearing up for his next role already. And uh, and you know, it's it's tough because you know this movie kind of became. Uh, in existence because Sony's been trying to make it for years and years and years ever since Spider-Man 3 with Sam Raimi and they never could get off the ground they could never get a script they like never find a director that stuck around Josh Trank I think was even at one point supposed to direct this movie and uh, it never got made and what happened was Deadpool came out and Logan came out and these movies did really really well and so Sony was like all right let's let's get this movie off the ground let's get a new script let's bang it out let's keep uh, you know these elements in there rewrite it do this get this director, got these actors, and go. And this movie was really fast. Like, I mean, from the reports I heard, they started shooting, they were working on, like, costumes for possibly for Venom to, you know, how he would look. While they were filming the movie, they had, you know, Tom try a couple on, apparently, and uh, and a lot of them didn't work, so they're like, okay, we're going to CGI. Like, they were literally making up decisions on the fly. It was, like, very much, like, you know, indie filmmaking in a lot of ways. And I think that's going to help the movie overall have a different feel than the average comic book movie and stick to the roots of the movie, which is they want to make a monster movie and not so much a superhero comic book movie, uh, but just kind of fit Venom into a, a different genre like a monster movie. So I think that's good. I, I'm, I'm on board with this and I do want to see more, uh, but it looks like we're not going to get anything at WonderCon. So I want to know what you guys think of that. And uh, so just let me know down in the comments below. A couple people asked me about speculating on who... 
you know, Woody Harrelson might be playing. Someone said that he might play Jenkins, who is like this, you know, uh, henchman to Roland Trees, uh, which is played by Scott Hayes. Uh, I mean, I, it's too early for me to speculate on too much. I don't want to get too crazy with speculation. I just like making videos about certain things. So like if I saw IMDb post something, I'd be like, oh, this is interesting. Let's talk about it. Whether it's true or not, let's talk about it. Uh, but as far as speculation goes, it's too early uh, for me. I I'm trying to formulate something. I think uh, Venom Gaming asked me to, um, you know, to like, like I guess predict what the plot might be and I don't want to do that either off that first trailer I have a couple guesses but nothing major I want to wait till at least one more trailer so after the next trailer we get whenever that is I will definitely speculate some more for you guys but for now I don't I want to keep my expectations tempered I don't want to get too out of control with you know with my thoughts on this and uh, and I don't want to you know, get you guys, you know, thinking, uh, you know, a certain way. And then all of us, you know, go like, oh, that would be cool. That would be cool. And then get disappointed. And I certainly don't want to throw stupid stuff out there because sometimes when I speculate, I have a bunch of dumb ideas, obviously. And uh, I don't want to like, <laughs> you know, throw all those out there to you guys just yet. I'll wait till we know a little bit more about the movie. Uh, so yeah, no, not a ton of speculation videos from here uh, for now. Uh, but I do want to know, you know, what do you guys, what do you guys think Sony's next move should be? I, I'm thinking that maybe April, you know, and with Infinity War, that's a good time to release another trailer. Um, I think that would be cool. Uh, but obviously, that's Venom's 30th anniversary in May, so having something then would be great. I would love to see something that wouldn't even require Tom Hardy, actually. You could get Riz Ahmed and a couple other characters, or Jenny Slate, uh, and just use some of the footage from the movie, whatever, but cut together some Life Foundation trailers to kind of get people in the headspace of what uh, the Life Foundation is. I thought that was really great about Resident Evil, and I think why a lot of people took to those movies sometimes was before they even saw it they knew exactly who the umbrella corporation was there was these commercials that came out with the second movie that showed you know the, oh the umbrella corporation makes lipstick and then the person put it on and they started to turn into a zombie and it was like oh okay this person they like now they make uh, shampoo and it uses t cells to revitalize their hair and then their scalp decays and they turn into a zombie and it's like okay you kind of get like what the umbrella corporation does and you kind of get the movie okay it's a company that makes all these products and then they're also responsible for zombie creating. Um, and so, yeah, I, I like that. And I hope they kind of do something like that with the Life Foundation in this movie. I think that would just be cool. And those would be pretty cheap to do and put out there um, and put out like little pamphlets at, you know, conventions and stuff like hand out little Life Foundation brochures. Uh, hey, join our medical testing today at Comic-Con. That would be really cool if you can go in and do a, like a medical testing thing for Life Foundation where they're like, hey, come in and get a, you know, let's take a blood sample from you and see if you qualify for our new, you know, like symbiosis program or whatever. Um, that would be cool to see stuff like that. And I don't know, I, I've worked in marketing. I like to think about that stuff. I like to think about how things are sold and, uh, and how well you can sell them and how you can, you know, uh, put things out there that you know, people weren't expecting. I mean, I think Ryan Reynolds was so good at Deadpool. And the reason I keep bringing him up is because I am not a Deadpool fan, but he got me to go see that movie because he believed in that character, like Wade Wilson, like, uh, you know, a character who was like basically a ripoff of Deathstroke. And, uh, and he was created by Rob Liefeld, you know, and, uh, and then, you know, Ryan Reynolds comes along and really brought that character to life, tapped into who that character was, what that character has become over the years, what everyone loves about that character, and he portrayed it on and off camera. And he sold me, and he made me go see that movie. And I don't see that right now from Venom, and Venom's only seven months away, and Ryan Reynolds made me want to see Deadpool almost a year before it came out. Um, so I already want to see Venom. That's not the problem here. Obviously, I'm going to go see the movie opening day. Uh, but I would like to see... A little bit more. I mean, we're we're seven months away, and that is a long time. There is a lot. You know, the movie's nowhere near done. They still got to edit it. They got to do a lot of stuff. They might even do reshoots. We don't even know. Uh, there's a lot of stuff going on, but uh, we are seven months away, and that seven months will go by really quickly. So it they should start getting stuff out there that helps set up the world. Put a few more, you know, a little bit more information out there. Casting things. They need to do something, and they need to do it soon. Uh, so for now, until they do, I'm gonna cut back on this show and just do like three Venom vlogs a week. I'm thinking Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, if I can stick to that schedule. Um, I'm gonna do at least three Venom vlogs a week, and then I'll do a Spawn show uh, once a week. So you'll get one Spawn episode a week. Uh, you'll get Venom vlog three times a week. And then uh, we'll either do uh, Ghost Rider, The Crow, or Scarlet Spider. Um, so you guys let me know which ones. I know we, I, no matter what, I'm going to do Scarlet Spider. I just think I'm going to do ha do that show like once a month or something. There's not a lot to talk about with him, and we'll be done in like six months talking about Scarlet Spider. So there's not a, a lot to do there. Um, 
but with uh, Ghost Rider, I have the entire 90s run of comics, and with The Crow, I have virtually every Crow comic that ever came out also, and I also have every issue of Spawn. So I was thinking about doing, you know, like Tuesday's Spawn and Thursday's Ghost Rider or The Crow. So you guys let me know down in the comments what you would like, and this is just temporary. We'll just do this for a while until Venom News picks back up. Then we'll go back to five episodes a week on Venom and just do, like, Spawn. And those will be the two shows we do from here on out. Um, so yeah, you guys let me know what you think of that down below. Uh, I'm going to get some sleep. I'm a little bummed about the WonderCon thing, but you know, for all we know, they're not going to WonderCon because it does cost money to go there and rent out the room and rent the space and bring the footage there. Maybe they'll just release something online that weekend and that'll be great too, or just give us some, you know, new images or whatever. Maybe that'll be how they play it and save some of their money. And that's fine with me. I think that's smart business as well is just share something online. Uh, it's cheaper to do that. And, uh, and I know there will be fans at the con like me who would like to see something there and see the actors there. But if they can't put it together, it's fine. I don't want them to rush anything else. I want them to play the rest of this as smart as they can. So yeah, let me know your thoughts down below. Thank you guys so much for watching my show. Like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And I'll see you in episode 100. Peace.